Open Premiere Pro and select your media. Here I have two videos. The first one is a music clip scene and the second one is a fake camera menu chroma with your media on the project, drag it to your timeline. Make sure you're putting the chroma media on top. Drag your media that you want to be below your chroma effect to the timeline. Clicking in the chroma media track I button, you can see that my clip is below the chroma video. Now, select the effects panel. If this window is not showing, simply press Shift plus 7. Or, go to the top options bar and look for Windows menu. Now, search for the effect, type in the words Ultra Key. But, if you want to go to the effect manually, the path is Video Effects, then Keying, and then Ultra Key. After finding the effect, click on it with the left mouse button, hold it, then drag it to the media you want to apply the effect to. In this case, is the green screen video. With the effect applied, go to the Effects Controls panel. If this panel is not appearing, you can press Shift plus 5 or go again to the Windows menu and check Effect Controls. With the Effects Controls tab open, you can now see all the effects that have been added to the media you are selecting, including the Ultra Key we just added. Now that your media has the Ultra Key effect added, we can see a lot of settings, but simply click on that dropper icon by the side of Key Color menu. Then, just click in the green space of the video. Now have you applied the effect. If the effect is not too good or with some strange spots, the other submenus exist just for that. The two most useful ones are Mate Correction and Mate Cleanup but you can venture into the other menus if those I said are not solving your problem. Click in the down arrow on the left side of these menus and drag right or left, calibrating until it is the way you want. So that's it, the complete guide to Chroma Kia video in Premiere Pro. Try it by yourself and report any questions or issues in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more informative content about Premiere Pro and many other stuff. Bye!